Hey you guys, it's Tianka Rochelle back with another video. And today's video is way different from my regular typical videos. This video, I will be making my alkaline spaghetti. Lately, I've been, you know, doing a lot of research on changing my diet. I've just been wanting to eat better lately. Like, lately, I've been eating food, and I've just been feeling sluggish, tired. It's just, you know, I'm just try I'm just tired of the poor diet. So, I just felt like it was time for a change. And I've been on it for, I can say, two weeks now. And I'm going to leave the description of the person um, where I got the recipe from because, like, she is amazing, y'all. And just keep watching. And it's quite simple. Not too many ingredients, but enjoy it. And I hope you like it. Just crazy is that this these are walnuts. I let them sit for over six hours. And... You know, I put I put it in my food processor so it can give it that meatier texture so it can actually look like meat. And the crazy thing about it is that I have made this. This is my second time making this. And honestly, when you put all the seasoning in it, it tastes exactly like like ground beef. It is so weird, but I thought that it was going to taste like wa walnuts, I guess. But, you know, when you put all the seasons in there and everything, it was probably going to knock that that nut nuttier taste off. So, Because I was pretty skeptical about that. And I was like, what? Walnuts and spaghetti? What? But I actually enjoyed it. Like, now you can see it from this angle. It looks way better than the first try. And then next, I would be using my chickpeas as my pasta. And so I put my grapeseed oil in my pan so I can prep up my okra and my bell peppers. Y'all, the process of this was so crazy. Like, I know I'm just everywhere in the video, so just bear with me. <laughs> So right now you just see me cutting some bell peppers for my okra. This combination is so it's so colorful and delicious, y'all. And the reason why I just decided to do the alkaline diet is to have better health and just just eat better for myself. I was just tired of, you know, eating chips and junk food and processed food and I just felt like it was definitely time for a change. And I've learned so much about alkaline food. It is amazing that we grow up and eat all the stuff that we know we're not supposed to eat. Like, y'all, I definitely did not know that seafood is like a mucus former. And I'm just like, wow. But honestly, when you really think about it, it's not far-fetched because, like, they do look like sea creatures and sea roaches. So, of course, it looks like it starts, you know, mucus and other problems. But I've just been doing a lot of research on this lady page. I think her name is Electra Life. I'm going to put that in the description so you guys can check out her page because she has a lot of great information about what we're supposed to eat and not eat, um, what we're supposed to cook with, what we're supposed to store our food in. Um, and another thing, how we're not supposed to be using microwaves and the utensils we're supposed to cook with are wooden and stainless steel and glass. Like, it's really a lot to it when it comes to this alkaline diet. But I'm willing to learn, and it's been fun so far. Like, I've been eating stuff that... I would have never thought that I'd be eating. And it's kind of hard because I have been doing this journey by myself. And recently, since I've been, you know, been broadcasting it on my story on Instagram and Facebook, people have been, like, asking me questions and how do I start. And just, you know, people are curious. And I'm glad because that's what I want to happen. I want to see how far this alkaline can take me. And I want to be able to at least encourage encourage others to try it with me because 
it's pretty fun, but when you have someone in your corner helping you, like it it shows like like support and motivation. So that's why I decided to, you know, try to help other people even though I just started. And, you know, we can just help each other out like that's the best thing to do when you have someone with you doing it with you because when you're doing it by yourself it can be pretty discouraging and unmotivating so I'm down to help people who are willing to switch up their diet if they really want to because I feel like it's for the best and lately I've been feeling amazing I've been having energy out this world because <laughs> I'm eating how I'm supposed to eat. And sometimes I feel like I have a little bit too much energy because I just be staying up all night. <laughs> but, you know, I used oregano, um, cayenne pepper, curry. That's not alkaline. Um, onion powder, sea salt, grapeseed oil. And I feel like I'm missing something, but I don't think I am. But those are the main ingredients. Oregano, onion powder, curry, a dash of cayenne, and sea salt. I feel like I said that twice. (laughs) But it really wasn't a lot of ingredients when it came to this dish. That's why I liked it. It really didn't take me that long to really just make this whole thing. It really took me no more than an hour. So... So that's what I'm doing, seasoning my okra and bell pepper. I pretty much put the same in the same ingredients, not the same ingredients, the same seasoning as I will put in my spaghetti. So I really didn't, you know, switch it up when it came to, you know, seasoning my vegetables or anything. But I just wanted to stick to what I was going to be putting in my spaghetti. And I also left out, I use sage as well. Now I chopped up my plump tomatoes and I'm putting it in my um, blender, giving it that pasty texture. I didn't really have any tomato paste, so I just used of what I had, which was fine. It wasn't like a real heavy um, texture. It was real light, not that much, but enough to, you know, cover all the noodles. So it was a much for everything, so which turned out really good. And the water I used to make, uh, well, the water I used to put in my blender and for my chickpeas, I use only spring water, no tap water needed at all. Because, you know, it's not good to drink tap water. So nothing but spring water when you are making your food. So 
so I'm done making my okra and bell pepper. It looks so delicious and colorful. Do y'all see that color? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I love looking at colorful, colorful food. It just looks so much better and healthier. So after that, I um I ended up putting my walnuts in my pan in grapeseed oil, which I'm using the same ingredients as I said before. It really didn't take me long to make this. I mean, you could eat it raw or you can cook it. The choice is yours. It really doesn't matter. Whatever one works for you. But I like mine's cooked. And, you know, I like for it to have that, that meat texture when I cook it. So I don't put as much grapeseed oil in there because really you don't need a lot. So you will see me you know, grabbing the grapeseed oil here and there a couple of times, but I do not put a lot in there. So I just mix it around, mix it around, and I put all my seasons in there, and it took like literally a minute because it's all chopped up and everything, so it didn't take that long for me to cook them. And now you see me scrambling around to make sure I measure all my seasoning right because I did put them down in my notes. So when you see me looking over, I'm looking down in my notes. As you can see, I've already drained my chickpeas, and now I'm going to be putting my tomato paste and my noodles so it can all come together. And this is me tasting. Yes, <laughs> that is the reaction I was looking for. That mmm reaction. Like, I just know that I could throw down when it comes to these alkaline dishes. I just cannot wait to start making other dishes that I haven't made yet. And you know, I'm getting a little bit of this seasoning salt. Just a pinch, not that much, y'all. I'm really not seasoning my food. Like, I'm not over-seasoning my food. I know that's what it looks like, but I'm not. And, you know, I stir and stir and stir, and it has that brown, that brownness to it that reminds me of that meat. And it just looks so good. It smells amazing, like... Y'all, you can't go wrong with this. Like, you really cannot go wrong with this dish at all.
Okay, now I gotta, I gotta zoom in, y'all. I gotta zoom in so y'all can see all this deliciousness. Like, I know y'all hate right now. I just know it because, you know, like, I'm Chef Boyardee. Like, you can't, I can't do no wrong in nobody's eyes when it comes to these alkaline dishes. Y'all can't tell me nothing. Okay? Y'all see how good they look. And I was full, too. Like, I think I probably took, like, a couple of bites and immediately I was full. I don't know if that was because I was just cooking and it just made me less hungry, but it really didn't take me long to get filled up. And you just see me putting my pasta with my okra and bell peppers. Oh, I just love the presentation of this food right now. Like how colorful it looks. It just looks so good. So good and healthy. And I'm just gonna, you know, of course, show you the plate when I'm done putting food on my plate. Do you see that, y'all? Do you see it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and now I'm going to be showing you guys my reaction when I did taste it. Like, taste everything together finally. Uh-oh, now, don't hurt yourself. Yes. Mmm. See? That's a good reaction. That mean I did the damn thing. I did that. Y'all, thank you guys for watching my video. I know this is like a crazy commentary, but, you know, ain't nothing wrong with a couple of laughs. And, you know, it took me forever to edit this video. But I will see you guys in my next video. And love you.